Yeah. So my piece is a uh, it's called Africana, and uh, it's uh, a reminder to who we are as Africans. As we keep on saying, we're not for sale. Let us remember our identity. Yeah, along the way. <clears throat> the highest bidder wanted to buy a monkey, and so his assistant gave him me, and this is what I had to say. I am African, but I am not a monkey, a gorilla, or a chimpanzee. Yes, we are custodians of the best wildlife. We house the most unique creatures to ever exist in this life, like the African elephant, the lion whose tribe is Judah, the cheetah, and the zebra. Have you looked at an okapi or at the beauty of a mantled gereza? We do not bite. We are depictions of congeniality. You should go back to learn your A's and B's and not those stories that they tell you about us because we are all about family trees. Roots are strong as a mukula and we only get stronger and better. Tulea tule kola. We're all about cultural diversity. Diversity. We believe in unity. The spirit is Ubuntu. We hail from the land of a sun. We are natural bred warriors. We are children of the deserts, the savannas, the plateaus, the mountains, and the valleys. The keepers of our grandparents' stories. If Wakanda is something new to you, we have lived our lives with the spirit of a black panther. This blood, this is the blood of Shaka. This soil, this is a soil which birthed greats like Utatama Diva and we cannot run away from the great musicianship or the unique artistry of let legends Lucky, Dube, Oliver Mtukuzi or Paul Ngozi. Africans. So, we house the best minerals from the diamonds, the gold, the platinum, aluminium, the oils and the gases from the copper belt to the city of gold. Why do you think they scrambled for Africa? We are a world which exists within a world and we do not believe in banting. We believe in wanting to eat what we want to eat and you're not a welcomed guest in our house if we don't ask you to eat. We love our shisanyama, our kapenta with saza or tutenembalala down south. Our jollof rice and the goosey soup in the west. Our posho in the east and we go all the way up north to Tesco Shari in Egypt. We are professionals of cultural colored cuisines as colorful as our clothes as we cover ourselves in our dashikis. Our kente, ankara or colorful chitengas as we do not forget to wrap ourselves in our beautiful head ties as we carry our pride with us. After all we are the birthplace of civilization. We're not the forces of a sunken city. You called us a dark continent. We're not a dark continent. We are not made of darkness and our climax is not on a dark night. We are bad man. And we are not poor. Maybe we just got in bed with you too early, which led to the launch of your global poverty prevention projects, the birth of your philanthropies. You see, leaving us only with aid, oh aid. Who needs chains for the 21st century slave? Because benevolence, slavery, is a mind game which makes you believe that emancipation is just an ocean of imagination you can walk in but never get wet. And I can still hear them bidding. Stop bidding. So the white man wanted, the white man bid the highest and his assistant offered him me when he wanted a monkey. Did you think the assistant was white? He was black. Africa is not for sale.